Hey guys, welcome back. It is your favorite game with a limp, and I'm here with the first little part of the build that I told you guys I was going to do, and I'm actually going to reduce that a little bit, not have as much of a build video. I'm going to kind of combine a whole bunch of little things, show some of the bigger, more elaborate parts being put together, but I did discover that they've actually added a lot on their website of stuff being put together, how to do it, which is great because uh, there really isn't any detailed instructions with these things and sometimes it can be a little finicky. So it's all there. It's on battlesystems.uk or some shit. I'll put the uh, the link down in the description. But it's uh, if you go down to tutorials, they've got a whole list of all the different sets and you can go there and watch the videos. I was watching the set on the engineering sector here that obviously I want to put together and I've started a few little bases pieces and can't tell the lights in there okay we're good this big portion here I want to include that because that just looks so awesome and this robot that carries a case I mean that's awesome these vents look really cool but this piece right here is just really really awesome I want to make sure and get that uh, put together I've got a lot of the smaller terrain uh, from where I put it together previously and I'm probably not going to build any more cases you know crates because I've got so many already I don't need any more to be put together well I mean if I end up needing a few extra I can always put those together really quick off off camera and I already have in a previous video showing you guys how to put those together anyway so we're going to do the bigger stuff I'll show you Zeds on the next part of probably be later in this video it's going to be broken up over a couple of days I uh, have already put together a few little things, basic like these barriers here. Very easy. Three parts. You just punch them out, put them together. Like I said, put a little dab of glue on these things. Bam, you're good. This is the glue that I use. Bob Smith Industries. This is a CA uh, type of glue. Sino acrylic, acrylic, acrylate, whatever. <laughs> uh, really recommend this stuff. I've been using it since I was a kid. Hell, I've used this to stitch my hands together. I think I uh, talked about this story in a previous video, but my brother one time, uh, my twin brother, he cut, what was it? I think it was his finger. Yeah. He cut like the tip of his finger wide open and we we're like, oh no, our parents are going to be so pissed. And he's like, get the glue. So we, we pushed his finger back together and we glued that damn thing shut and it helped. This stuff worked, and uh, his finger healed up. He's got a nice scar, though, but we didn't have to take him to the hospital. So that was good. It was in the middle of the night, something like 2 or 3 in the morning. We were supposed to be asleep. But I uh, definitely recommend either the thick or the extra thick. Uh, the extra thick is the one that I like for this stuff because it's not as runny, so it's not going to roll off as well. This is nice and thick, and it will stick there. The blue bottle is the thin stuff. That shit will just roll everywhere, get on your hands get all tacky okay so let's put together this little piece here like i already showed you guys we're going to do this center one that's got the little staircase and everything around it i went ahead and punched out all the pieces and got them folded so we've got our main platform piece we've got the center piece that's going to be done now the platform real easy you just punch that out but this piece it's going to be flat and when you go to fold it just like they say in their video, make sure you're applying even pressure along each one of these little half cuts because that's what these are, little half cuts all the way through. And there's half cuts lengthways and widthways here at the top because that's how uh, this piece is folding in. You guys see that these actually fold down. So you're going to want to do that and it will give you a nice seal. Okay, so this is our first step. And you see how this has a little notch in there, okay? And then these make a little notch when you put them together. So that's what we're going to do. Let's thin it up a bit, and we get right down there at the notch. And then we push them open and get them in there. And just like that, wham, bam, Bob's your uncle. Things set up, right? Looks gorgeous. We just love this stuff. God, I love core space. Okay. I Like I said, I'm going to glue all this stuff. I do not want to have it come apart during the game. So we're going to 
glue it. I'll probably glue these guys later. I'll do that off camera, but I am going to put just, just a drop. You don't need much. Just a little drop will do you just to hold it. Okay. Right there. Right there. Okay. And to keep it at the right height, put a little drop right here at the front. All right. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. All right, while well, that's still a little wet, let's go ahead and put our legs on. I went ahead and got these fellas punched out, little notches punched on them. There are little notches around our platform here that these fellas go in. We will glue those on as well. All right, let's push them on. Here we go. Get on there. And you got to make sure you get these guys snugged in there because there is some uh, railing that's actually going to go on the top of them. So let's put that one there. Put this one here. Come on, get on in there. And there, there we go. Okay. And one more. You'll notice there are two notches here at the back side. And that's because we have a crane piece that's going to go on. But just like he did in his video, I'm going to wait to do that until I've got a little more done. So it is not in the way. Okay, bam. Just like that. See, we've got our legs on. Make sure we're still on camera. Yep. Hold it up so you guys can see all that there. Tell me that doesn't look good already. Gives you that 3D terrain, right? Looks good. Looks great on the table. Man, I love this game. Okay, so we've got that. And now we've got our two railing pieces still left. These are the pieces of our staircase, the ladder, and then the steps for our staircase. So that's all we got left for this piece. Now, the staircase is going to be coming off the front, so we're going to have railing over the sides. Now let's see, is the longer side here in the back? Okay, bam. All right, that's how it's going to go. So let's push these on. This is what I was saying, make sure you got all this set up first. These are another that you're going to have to bend. All right, so let's get them in there, get in the hole. Get, oh, look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, now. Let's pull this one back around, get him notched in there. Okay, get in the hole. Just like everything else in life, it's all about getting in the hole. <laughs> yeah, I'm being a dirty old man. It's gonna be though, it's what happens. All right, line up a little bit. Back one's being a little fink, uh, funky. All right, remember this stuff is paper. I mean, it's, it's thick card stock, right? It's, it's basically counter material, so it's not horribly the, the most sturdy shit you're ever going to play with in your life. Uh, definitely keep that in mind, all right, when you're putting all this crap together. All right, so we've got that done, and I'm going to tack a little glue on that here in just a minute. I think we can get that one down just a little more. Okay, a little glue will take care of that. Now we got to get our staircase. All right, so how's this staircase gonna go? I think like that, yeah, okay. So we're gonna be holding them like that and we're gonna put our stairs in there. So it should be one, two, three, four, five uh, notches, okay? And we've got five of these little stair plates. So that should do it because this top notch is gonna be plugging into there. It looks like they're the same on both sides, so put the smooth side on top. All right, so that's one and two going in there. Make sure I'm staying in camera. And let's see, yeah, like this. Three and four coming in. Last one, number five. And there we go, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, now let's line all these holes up and get her done on the other side. All right, get on there, get on there a little more. Okay, that should put us nicely. Good, 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 good. Oh, okay, doesn't that look nice? Look at that, staircase. Man, it's a thing of beauty. And that's actually pretty, pretty sturdy. Give it to it, all right. It's Bend it straight. Make sure it's good to go. All right, there we go. There we go. Okay, now it looks good. 
and we will slide that right on there. Bam! Ha oh, ha Look at it! Look at it! Oh man, that's just, that's gorgeous. It's gorgeous! Alright, and let's put this right there. Alright, so let me see if I'm backing this up so you guys can see this. Look at that. Got the claw hanging off so it can get a, a load in there. You've got your little staircase. Oh man, that's good. The only thing is this ladder is supposed to go on here and I don't know where the hell he put that ladder. It's got to, because this is showing. Alright, so if you look here, it looks like that thicker part, the notch part of the ladder goes up, but that doesn't work because I can do the ladder if I do it like this, like that, that'll work because there's a little notch I can put it on, but doing it like this, there's nothing to notch on and that's kind of how they show it on the thing. I think that's just wrong because that notches in there very well. So we're going to put the ladder uh, like that, but there you go. You see how it's all nice and set up. And it wasn't hard, but this is that, uh, if you guys watched my previous video, this is that initial 50% pain in the ass that I was talking about. Yeah, it, it's not fun to build these things. I mean, it's kind of cool to see it all come together, and they're not hard. They're little cardboard uh, model kits, basically, terrain kits. But they look so damn good on the table, and especially for what you get. They, they had some good sales going on at Christmas. I'll give them that. Uh, what you're getting for what you're paying, I mean, it's it's not bad. You can uh, set up a nice dynamic terrain by doing this. Does that look better on this side? I don't think it really looks great on either side. Uh, I think I like that other side better for the ladder. Yeah, we'll leave it there. But yeah, when you put this stuff together, I mean, look at that. Look. And you can put your models going up. If you were to build something like this, the equivalent of this, right, out of a plastic or plasticine or whatever you're going to put together, having to paint it and do all the other crap, this stuff is great. It's great. Now, the, the drawback is it isn't as durable, right? We get that. It's not as durable. If you fall and land on this thing, it's, it's going to be smashed. But, I mean, really, whatever you'd be making it out of, more than likely, is going to be that way, uh, too. So, this does fairly well. So, let's, all right, tack on some glue real quick, show you guys uh, how I do that. Like I said, we're just going to hit our joints, just a little bit there at each joint. This thick stuff works really well. That will get that there. Put a little bit right here, right, to hold that on. Put a little bit right here. A little bit right here at the base, just to keep it from waffling around. And we're going to put a little bit here at the top on each side. And we're going to do the stairs too on these. I am not going to glue on that damn ladder because I am not 100% sold on the ladder, to be honest with you. Alright, so let's a little glue here, last couple of steps on each one. There we go. Steps are locked in. And then we'll hit these last couple over here. A little bit down there at the base. A little bit right here. A little bit there at the base to hold the the railing down. And we will hit this one back here. And you don't need much. You just need to hold it so it doesn't pull itself loose. Is pretty much how that goes. And the thing is, is you, uh, he points out in this that you can connect this to other sets. Like there's a little notch back here, and it's the, the same level, so you could notch it in. Basically, the, the second level that I'm looking to try to incorporate into this next game, I can do that with these sets. So you can climb up here, go around the little cistern or whatever the hell it is, and I can build a pathway coming off of this to something else. I mean, that's just, that's beautiful. All right, I'm probably going to glue these down in a better circle, something like that, uh, off camera, and we'll let that dry. 
But we're we're pretty well set up. We got this one. This is not hard to put together, guys. This is not uh, hard to put together. There are a few more pieces. Um, I will come back a little later, and we'll put together these vents. And make sure I'm staying in camera. Sorry, I'm sitting off to the side where my camera is. I'm not used to filming like this, putting this crap together. Uh, we'll put together the spider bot and these vents because they look so cool. I definitely want to incorporate them into the game. And other than that, I don't think I'm going to need too much more besides this and Zeds. Once I get Zeds put together and this stuff, I think it's just going to be setting up the map itself. So that shouldn't be too hard to get all that taken care of. All right, give me a sec. Actually, uh, it's going to be tomorrow for me when I start putting together uh, Zeds. But for you guys, it's just going to be this. And we're back, sports fans. That's right. For me, a whole day has passed. But for you guys, it was like that. Okay, so we're going to continue on. We got our little engineering platform built up. And now we're going to do Zeds. Okay. We have his little bar area here. I've got the pieces set out. We're going to need the bar pieces, which is this stuff. And we're going to need some doors and walls, just generic stuff. And it looks like they've included a sheet of that, obviously, to use. So between these two, we can make it work. On top of that, we do need some of these connectors. Okay, These are the pieces you use to actually connect all the walls together and you can get extra packs of the terrain clips. This is an extra box that came with a, a set that I ordered. <clears throat> and I think this set, not Zed's, but the battle systems tabletop thing came with something like four or five bags of these things uh, to use. So there's a whole bunch that you can get, but one of the things I noticed is it does seem like uh, battle systems, you know, the core space group that uh, sells this crap, they'll do like sets every now and then. So keep your eyes peeled if they've got a sale going on. So instead of just buying a box, you can get a box and a couple extra expansions and some extra bags of clips all for one price versus uh, buying it all separately. That's what I did. I found a good sale they had going on Christmas and bought a nice bundle and that was definitely worth it. <coughs> okay, so what I'm probably going to do is put you guys on fast forward as I punch out all the pieces here and get them organized and ready to go. So let's go with fast forward. All right, now I was waving at myself. Slow down, slow down. Okay, I thought this was really neat. I'm gonna show you guys this. <laughs> Look, they got the little bathroom sign you can put on. But it's got little alien, like two-headed alien dude and the alien chick that's got antenna. That's really neat. I love how they include this stuff just in the extra sections uh, where they can't really fit anything else. Just little knickknack stuff. Not that big of a deal. Uh, but stuff, little signs, bathroom signs, stuff like that that you can hang up on these wall pieces and really make them stand out. That is just excellent. I love that extra step that they take. All right, so that's all the pieces we're going to need from this. These aren't struts that actually hold anything up. These are just like uh, extra struts, just same as this stuff, decorative. So we don't need that. Let's punch these pieces out. Okay, sports fans, uh, we're back to it. Most of this stuff here is decorative. We got another ladder, that big TV that I'm going to wall mount somewhere. A little bar TV. It looks like this piece goes to that to, to hang it up. We'll deal with those later on. We don't need those pieces for now. <clears throat> and I know you guys are finding the same problem that I just realized as I was punching these pieces out, especially this floor piece. I'm like, it matches my <laughs> my little uh, mats here that I've got laid out to make sure they're nice and flat. So <laughs> if it blends in a little bit, my apologies. I've just got these mats on the table so they can uh, make sure and flatten out just a little bit. But this piece, this is our floor piece. We're going to be using this to, I like how it's double-sided too, to give the second level to Zed's. 
This is the little wall piece that's going to be there on the front. Let's see if we can see a good picture of it. Okay, yeah, right here. You see how there's that blue outline around? That's that piece. That's what we're looking at there. Okay, <clears throat> got our wall pieces, a little half wall. The two upper portions of Zed, the two bottom portions of Zeds. We got ourselves another little mini fold thing. Let me punch these out real quick. See if we can get those little slats out of there. All right, you see they fall out nice and easy. And we'll go back to fast forward as I punch all these out. All right, and if you guys watch my previous course, uh, course based stuff, I like to leave the door pieces in uh, as much as possible. Uh, that way I know if the doors are closed or not in game. Otherwise I would forget. That way I can punch them out. Uh, they still go back in very easily. All right, so this is the one that's curved. So again, it's got the little half cuts on it. We'll do our little bend here. Nice and gentle, but firm pressure. It's kind of like sex. You don't want to push too hard, don't want to push too light. We'll push just hard enough. Okay, so we've got that bent. Now here's our wall pieces now. Where is it? Where's that? Okay, big door I know is up front. So we're gonna use that as our starting point. Let's dump out our bag of clips here because we're getting there. Actually, I need to probably put the bar itself together. Let's see, we've got bar pieces, bar stools. Okay, looking at this, it looks like those bar pieces connect on the bottom, right? And then the stools connect to them, and then the bar is gonna connect around on the bottom portion over there. And, okay, so, Looking at this, this is the top of our bar. We know that's gonna be slotted in, so we can put this piece in there. That'll help stand it. And then we've got one, two, three, and we have one, two, three of these. And these are the ones that those stools are gonna to connect to. So how much of this sticks up? Oh. This is that part I was telling you about. It's just a tiny bit of a pain in the ass. Okay, it looks like the thin little part is what's sticking up. Okay, so it looks like that's the top. Okay, so let's see if I can get this in camera for you guys. It goes, should go like this. Get on in there. There we go. Okay, see that? That's how that's gonna look. So there's a spot for the stool underneath there. You see where it's got that little notch? That's where the stools are gonna go on the bottom. So let's keep plugging in. We got a couple more of these to go. One right there and one more right here. This will give us our bar itself. And yeah, we're gonna glue this together. Okay, see now our bar stands. Oh man, that looks great too. That's gonna look so good on the table. And we've got three bar stools. We'll do smooth side up. Make sure I bend these things as straight as I can. Okay, and get on in there. Just like that gives us our seats. Oh, we're gonna have Zed's bar. I <laughs> freaking love it. Man, I'm gonna have to look into getting more of the, uh, the space crews too for this because they've got so many uh, space uh, pirate crews that you can expand with and have as many different crews as you want. The fact that this game can be played, you know, solitaire or competitively or uh, cooperatively, there's so many ways that you can play it. All right, look, here's our bar. Tell me that bar doesn't look good. The bar looks good, man. And that is gonna sock it into one of these walls uh, so that's going to hold us up. While it's doing this, let's go ahead and put just a little touch of glue because this is one of those pieces I do not want coming apart. So again, we're going to just put a little drop here and there just to hold it in place. 
So it doesn't come apart. That's a little much, but it's all right. All right, we'll put it right here on the top. Get it to where they hold together. Just a little bit. Like I said earlier, use that thick CA glue and it'll hold these things in place and you won't have any problem with it. And it'll give them a little extra rigidity and hold them together really well. You get a little shine from the CA glue, but it's not that bad, a, uh, not that big of a deal. All right, you guys can actually see it on there, but yeah, it is not a huge deal. All right, so we'll let that dry for a sec. That'll take just a couple minutes and we'll start getting our walls in place. Okay, so I know this is our front door. All right, I'm looking at in the instruction booklet because this has it going in a different direction. Bars over here, I think I'm gonna do it where the bars set up like this. This is what we're going for, okay? So let's do this. We're gonna need basically a box, right? And it looks like a four post peg will hold this. Okay, so we need this piece and I think it's one of these, okay. And let's find it, where is it? I should have a four, okay, here's a four. Do I need a four? Let's see, yeah, because front, side, side, and back, yep, definitely a four. All right, so you guys see how these are notched on the sides? That's where these pieces are gonna go. This is how it all holds together, all right? So this is our start, right? That goes there. We're gonna put our second wall piece here. All right, get in there, you dirty little girl. You, you know, some of them are tighter than others and my upside down. Look, and that one's looking a little thin, but we'll do it this way, it's fine. All right, poke you in there. Okay, there's the start of our wall. And we need the bottom of the bar to go here. Okay, now you see we've got a little tri section there. Okay, holding it together. It looks bent in camera, but it's not. It's, trust me, it's relatively straight as I'm looking at it. Okay, so that gives us that. And the bar itself is going to hook on up here. Does it just, is there a notch? What? It does not have a notch. It looks like it just slides onto it. Yep, it just slides on, okay? Right there below the blue part, I would assume. So, slide that one on, just like that. Okay, there we go. It's probably gonna go down just a bit. We're gonna have to adjust this to get a good fit. Okay, you gotta see that. Try not to pick it up too much and move it around, but see how the bar is coming together now, right? We're gonna connect it there. Now we've got a bar set up, right? Okay, now we need to build our box going around. We've already got a piece there. Are we gonna need yeah, we're gonna need another four-way piece over here so we can connect that and the other side going off. And it looks like this little bag that I opened only had a single four-way piece. I do not have enough in this. What is that? That's an interesting looking one right there. I'm not sure what that goes to. All right, but yeah, I'm gonna need one more four-way piece. I've got more in another bag. I've got plenty of these. I can build the whole setup, but I need another one of these right here. Okay. For this side. And actually I'm going to pull this bar off for now until we get her set up. Okay. Get on there. Get in there. Okay. Some of these are a little more snug than others. Snug on the side. All right. And there's that. And we know this is going to be going around here. So that is gonna go right there. Okay, see? And we're gonna have another wall piece going off here, but it really doesn't matter which walls that I put in the back. All right. 
Oh, well, the way that we're setting this up, we only need a single bottom bar piece, so we can set this to the side for now. We're not gonna need it. We'll put our next wall down here. Right, get it in there. Come on. All right, let me snug there. Put this one in here. There we go. All right, that's getting our box set up. Zed's is gonna be up here. These pieces are gonna be on the top. And hold on, let me actually see if I can lower the camera just a bit so you guys can have a better view than just the top down. Okay, so I'm having to do a voiceover here again because unfortunately as I moved the camera down, I ended up bumping the, the audio cable at this point and I actually removed uh, my, my voiceover. So the original voice that I have on here is now missing. For some reason, I just I butchered the audio in this video. Uh, I guess I need to check to make sure that that cable's not loose because it caused a little bit of distortion at the beginning of the video and I lost a portion here at the uh, end of the video, but it's only a couple minutes. So I'm just gonna tell you real quick what I had going on. In this section, I'm putting it together so you can see how the actual walls go together. It's these corner pieces, four-way pieces, same thing that uh, I was showing you earlier as we first initially started putting the walls together. And okay, here I'm showing you that it's the four walls come together and then we're gonna be putting the floor on top of that to create the second level of, of Z and then connect over to that curved piece on the right side with a couple of more wall pieces, which actually now that I'm thinking about it, I might actually put a shorter wall piece on that right side. You'll see it there at the end. See this regular sized wall piece and I'm not sure. I think maybe a shorter piece might be able to go uh, connecting there. Uh, here I'm talking about whether to put the door on that side or the other side and I decide at this point to go with the door on this side and then grabbing another corner piece with two connectors which I might end up having to switch some of these out because again I don't know exactly where Zed's bar is going to go so depending on it, where I'm attaching it to I could have to switch these out basically it's just putting it together to show you guys how the building is constructed how all the uh, the terrain itself is constructed it goes together rather uh, easily I've got to say I like how it all looks really good and it's really tight and and pressed and works really well uh, once you're done setting it all up all right so there it's pretty well done we're getting ready to attach the the second level to it and it took me a minute because I actually made a mistake when I first uh, put the second level on which I'll catch later on in the video. I'm trying to tighten this up just a little bit. For some reason, some of these wall pieces that came with Zeds, the the walls usually are wide enough to accom uh, accommodate those plastic clips that clip them together. Uh, but these weren't. Uh, one side, it was wide enough to not be too tight, but the other side, you had to kind of squeeze her in there a little bit uh, to get her to go on there right. All right, so I think here I'm getting ready to attach the flooring. Yep, there we go. We're gonna grab the floor piece. And there are a lot of uh, notches on these floor pieces so you can attach in it in a multitude of different ways. Basically, whatever works for you. All right, so you see I'm just putting on some angles here. And the problem is, is I realize that I'm putting it on in the wrong direction when I later figure out how to attach that special piece that uh, is the front like display part of Zed's. Uh, but these uh, second levels really are easy to put together. They've made it so easy because the top of the walls themselves are designed to have things notched into them because you can put other display pieces like the TV and whatnot can be attached onto the wall onto the top of it. So the upper flooring just goes bam right there. It's, it's good to go. Uh, showing you the front of Zed's again here on how that's going to go together. And I remember at this point, I was going, okay, well, how does that connect? Is there an angled piece? And there actually is an angled piece that I see right here in that picture. That's what I'm talking about. 
that there's an angled plastic connector and I just have to find it. It's not that one, Gimpy. Keep looking. Nope, nope. Guess again. <laughs> it's over there, buddy. I'm telling you. And nope, it's not that one. You can't curve it that way. Dig in the pile one more time, dumbass, and you'll find it. It just takes a second, but I'll find it, pull the uh, the second level off again, and attach that in the right place. And it actually goes on really well once I find the right angled piece, because there are some that are angled at 90 degrees, like the ones I have in my hand currently, and then there are some that are angled at more of a 45 but you really don't need a whole lot of those. Most of those are for uh, terrain specific reasons. Here I am showing you that you can attach the Z sign in one of two different ways. You can either attach it to the upper second floor walls or you can attach it like I did to the base. So using a single straight piece, bam, just connected it right there to the base. So we're good to go. And now I'm still trying to figure out, okay, well, how the hell does this piece go on? I should be grabbing that angled piece here in just a second. And we should be good to go. There you go. Keep digging. And there you found it, genius. All right. It only took you five minutes. So with that, you just clip it onto the bottom and then clip it to that top angled piece. And it uh, angles that front uh, barrier. I don't know what you would call that thing specifically. Uh, really well lines up and just looks good once the terrain's all put together it that special look to it and that's why I love all of these terrain pieces because they just look so damn good once it's all put together and for some reason I decide to move the clips instead of just rotating the floor piece it's like what the hell are you thinking dude all you had to do was just rotate it and instead I move the clips I think I even mentioned that when I was filming it like what the hell are you thinking man it's not that big of a deal all right so I'll leave a little space here so I can put that clip on and it's going to angle it forward at that 45 degree angle that you saw in the picture so put that on and then just clip it to the base and you'll see all the walls have those notches uh, one in the center and then one about a quarter of the way through and then one yeah, about three quarters of the way through so you can attach things at different angles there we go now we just got to get the floor put back in the right angle and that will be good to go that's how the uh, the upper levels are going to work with the catwalks with the second levels you can have doors on the bottom level so different things stairways you really can set up your terrain however you want to set it up so here i'm just showing you that that's the front of zed's bar and i actually ran out of walls at this point and could not uh finish putting zed's together because this is all the walls that actually came with it you have to connect it to the pieces that you already have so it seems like the the pieces that come with zeds literally can only do that very f box that zeds uh bar encompasses for some reason i don't know it's just the way that uh, they've got it designed but i've got plenty of wall pieces so that's not going to be an issue all right so my sound gets ready to kick back in so i'm going to cut off here right there and there you go now you see how zeds bar is going to going to look when we're done. This bar piece, I don't mind it being glued together, but I wouldn't glue it to this. I would just leave that lightly hooked because you're going to probably move it around depending on what map you're playing on. So you don't want to lock yourself into one one specific area. You can you know, store these pieces with your crates and, and all the other stuff, but when it comes to walls and things like that, you generally don't want to glue those or glue the doors in. But yeah, here's the uh, here's the general principle of how you mount all this crap and actually build a map. So uh, where we're going to go from here is like I said, I'm going to use some of the diagrams that are in this book and see, they even show you like, okay, here's the upper floor, you know, what these symbols actually mean when you're looking at the map. And let me flip this thing around. There. There we go. So you see, by looking at this map, Zed's bar would be, you know, turned like such down over here. And then we would build all this other stuff on it. So 
Uh, like I said, I'm going to have to figure it out because what I'm probably going to do is take one of these maps and build it on this half and then take another map, build it on that half, and then just some add some extra uh, upper level stuff in a few places like Zed's bar, maybe some stairways and, uh, and pathways, things like that over arching around. However, I decide to, to go with it. Uh, but that's going to be our entirety of our map. But I did want you guys to see how the pieces themselves go together. I know this has been a long video and you guys are definitely anxious to see the gameplay itself. But I know some people are definitely curious about the sets themselves, how they go together, exactly how you, you build your maps and all that other good stuff. And this is how you, you build the maps. It is, like I said, it's a bit of a pain in the butt, but especially... If you're not having to tear it down, like if you're not like me and have to throw another damn game on your table very, very soon and you're able to leave it up and play a few games, once you get it up, man, oh, it just looks so good on the table and it's just so much fun, especially if you're doing just a one map. I'm doing a two map uh, scenario, two uh, map pallets here all built up together. That's going to definitely take a little more time than would normally take to put all this stuff together. But if you're just doing one and it only takes up two by two, that's not a whole lot of space. And you don't need too much extra space around it for your little dashboards for your characters. Uh, it's not gonna take up too much real estate. So if you have like a big table like I do, you can have this set off to the side and then a little space for another game if you want. All right, but we're gonna end that here. You guys have seen the basics. We'll pick up our next video when I've got all this actually built out and we're getting ready to go in. Definitely put down in your comments any thoughts or uh, ideas about how to run the mission itself. Like I said, it's either going to be the guy that we're rescuing. We're either rescuing him from Zed or he's working for Zed and we're basically coming to let him know, hey, we survived, we're still alive and they join up with us. I haven't decided uh, basically whether Zed and his gang is are going to be enemies or they're going to be allies because we're definitely going to have a whole lot of purge. Maybe I'll throw some law enforcement there too. I don't know, we'll have to see how it all plays out. Anyway, that's gonna be it for me. You guys put any questions or comments you have down below. You guys take care, I'll catch you in the next one.